can't believe we're doing this with a baby. <laughs> been a minute. Last time we posted a video we were dog sledding and we didn't know we had someone else on board. <laughs> if you're new to our channel, this was originally intended to be a van build and then multiple other things, but life kept throwing us curveballs and we've been trying to roll with the punches. The biggest surprise, kind of surprise, we were hoping for it was this little one. We welcomed Clara into our family on September 11th of last year and uh, it's been a ride ever since. But now we're excited that we're gonna be getting back into travel instead of in a van. We're currently at the Calgary airport and we are heading over to Asia. It's been a bit of a whirlwind the last few days. We moved out of our place, had so many wonderful friends and family help us. My brother and his buddy helped us move all of the heavy things. Nice pit stains. Those aren't mine. <laughs> We're gonna hop on a plane to Vancouver, and then we're gonna hop on another 16 hour flight over to Bangkok. But the exciting part is that these aren't just any flights. We get business class flights with live flat seats. Instead of having it be a miserable experience, though we do like flying, it will now be the most enjoyable experience, especially with this little one. So we're really excited. Yeah, let's head to the gate. I can't believe we're doing this with a baby. <laughs> made it for our first leg of the journey. We've got a lot of extra leg room, which is really nice, but nothing compared to what's coming. It is pretty nice though, because she comes with a lot of extra stuff. Well, she did great for the first little leg. We're waiting for our stroller. And while Ryan waits, I'm gonna go find a spot and uh, feed her before she gets hangry. Managed to get the stroller, our suitcases, found Victoria. Traveling is a lot harder with a baby than it is just the two of us. We're figuring it out. So we don't really know if we're supposed to go through customs here in Vancouver or if we're supposed to wait till we get to Bangkok. So we're gonna go try and figure that out and then find the lounge to hang out in until our flight takes off in a couple hours. So because of the crazy pinky flights that we have, we get access to the signature maple leaf lounge, which normally means it's a full sit down menu, but we are rushing because our flight is early. So we only have like 10 minutes until we board. So we're doing the buffet. I want one of literally everything. This is a pretty good spread. <laughs> It's too bad we didn't have more time because this place is beautiful and the food was all insane. So, so good. <laughs> we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. This is crazy. What are, what are we doing? <laughs> about how bougie we're treating our five and a half month old buddy. Consult the safety features card in your seat pocket. Thank you. So as you can see, I learned a mattress pad for me. So our bodies currently think that it is 2 p.m. 
but on the plane, it's breakfast time. I won't be actually getting to Bangkok. It's going to be 6.30 in the morning there, so breakfast it is. We just landed in Bangkok. I can't believe that we're here. They just opened the doors and my skin is already sucking up all the humidity. It feels so good. She was an angel. So many people have commented and been like, I didn't even realize there was a baby on this flight. She's smiling at everybody. So, so far so good for this one to be a world traveler. Just waiting for our stroller. My body feels like it's three in the afternoon. Really it's 6 a.m. I think is what they said. So. Today could be interesting. <laughs> See how long we make it till we go to bed. <laughs> Getting emotional because this has been literally years in the making. We're planning on coming pre-COVID and then during COVID and then finally here we are. I can't believe it. I'm in shock. Clara, do you know where you are? You're in Thailand. to people movers. We've got to make sure uh, the luggage doesn't all come falling back on us though. <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm not hot, but I'm sweating. <laughs> and so it begins. <laughs> Our Canadian bodies are not ready for this. What are you doing? Made it through customs, made it through checking in for our next flight. Taking an elevator tour. <laughs> hitting the wrong button in the elevator. But the crazy thing is, everyone in Thailand so far has loved babies and we've been given crazy preferential treatment. <laughs> Everywhere we've gone, it's like, yep, yeah, please take the fast lane. We're not that special. We just have a baby now. And so. lots of people have offered to take her home, not in a creepy way, and like, we love her, we want her <laughs> way, which has been really cute. All the staff have been just, over the top lovely. We're supposed to be from the nice country, but they're definitely get, putting Canadian here. airports to shame right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. Just got some snacks in the lounge. I wasn't quick enough on the draw though to show that Ryan just got some boiled hot dogs and some ham and then carrot cake and this mystery food that we're not sure if it's an apple turnover or maybe a samosa. So uh, let's find out. I'm pretty sure the hot dogs and the ham were just the same thing, just cut in bigger pieces. I think this is an apple turnover. I still don't know what it is. Looks like apple. It's potato. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Another great lounge experience. We have about an hour before our flight. Claire is preferring to be upright, so we're going to go for a little bit of a walk and then head over to our gate. Someone's getting sleepy. Please keep your car on items at our 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 Please keep Kevin Janowin and Laura Crow would like to thank you for flying with us and we look forward to hearing you again soon. Welcome to Paradise. This is beautiful. It's like a little like a resort in an airport. <laughs> So while we're waiting for our baggage, I have to come clean on something. The day, for the most part, was really, really successful, except I kind of left our passports and tickets on the plane when we just landed here in Koh Samui. Thankfully, our flight attendants were amazing and brought them quickly to us. 
but I think it's important to share, you know, all the good sides of travel and then when you really make a mistake and panic and have to go beg for people's help so that you can get your passport back. But all in all, we are in Koh Samui and things went relatively well except for my one little snafu. Now it's time to go find an Airbnb, get settled, and then maybe take a nap. Stop the goods. So one thing we heard a lot about, well, one thing I read a lot about as we were preparing to come to Koh Samui was that either make sure your taxi is metered or decide on a price right away. We walked out of the airport and there was a big chart with all the prices for the entire island. We didn't have to think about a single thing and we know we prepaid, so we're good to go. We are so thankful to be here in Koh Samui. It has been a long 36 hours getting here. We're gonna spend the rest of the day puttering around, getting some food, hopefully staying up long enough so that our bodies can get used to Thailand time. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how she does. It's currently like way past midnight and she's still a piece of clam. So I don't know how tonight's gonna go. Wish us luck. See you next time. Bye. Oh, what a crazy long day it has been. Bless you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. And that can close. Words are hard, eh? Yes, they hurt when you've been away for so long.